Over the course of about the past three weeks, I've posted about three different music playlists, which by the way have practically blown up. That's absolutely mind-boggling to me. Because of that, in the comments of one of my videos, and also in my Discord, a few people have asked me how I actually make the playlist in the first place. It made me happy to know that people were interested, so naturally, I decided to make a video about it. Now before I start babbling on about how to do it, I'm gonna say that the way I do it might be different from that of other people. Also, my computer is currently broken and in need of a new CPU, so the recording is slightly laggy in some parts. Sorry about that, I just don't have enough money to fix it right now. Which is why I would like to ask for a tiny favor. Just hear me out. I know that this is a bit of a broken record among newer YouTubers, but it's really the truth. As of yesterday, I'm now a verified YouTube content creator, which means that if enough people watch this video and possibly subscribed, I would be able to fix my computer and would be able to make much better content for you guys. That's all I have to say. All that aside, let's get into the tutorial. Now before we start, there's a few things we need to do first. The first thing to do is download the file I've linked in the description. It's a zip file, so you'll need to unzip it. I assume you know how to unzip a zip file. If not, I don't know why you're watching this. Once you have it extracted, go into the folder, and then you're going to want to click zeroradio.exe. Zero Radio is the program we're going to be using to play the audio and to generate the auto-updating title. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it again. But all you gotta do is just run through the installer, it's pretty straightforward to be honest. After you've done that, all you gotta do is open up the program and we'll go from there. It's really just easier for me to type it in the search bar and just press the Windows button. But you do you, I guess. After you've done that, just leave the program for a second and go back to the window we were just in. This is really just an optional step, but it's very helpful for me. If you choose to do it, just follow the steps on screen. First, open the folder, and then literally just click one of those two executables. Depending on, you know, what your system is, you'll want to click the 64-bit or the 32-bit one. Most systems are 64-bit, so I feel like the safe bet is just to go with the 64-bit one. After you've done that, I would recommend restarting your PC for safe measure, and come back to the video when you're done. Now you can go back to Zero Radio, which we had open earlier. Go to the bar at the top and click the Tools tab, and then click Options. Now click Satellite, click the little drop-down box, and just set it to whatever your headphones are. Or alternatively, set it to the thing we just installed, the virtual audio cable thing. Next you're going to want to click Outputs, and then just do the same thing we just did for those two boxes at the top. You can safely ignore the AUX1 and AUX2 things, as we're not going to be using them. When you're all done, just tab out of Zero Radio and go back to the folder. And then click the file that says spectralizer.exe, or it might just say spectralizer depending on how you have your computer set up. Now this is obviously an important measure to take. This tutorial is assuming that you already have OBS installed. If you don't, go look up how to install it. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to install OBS, it's pretty dang straightforward. But after you have OBS installed, or if you already have it installed, click the spectralizer thing like I just said and then run through the installer. It's actually really simple, it's more simple than this Zero Radio thing, I'm just gonna be honest. Now this next step is a little bit more complicated for some people. Uh, it's pretty straightforward once you know how to do it, but I got confused the first time, so just pay attention here. You're gonna wanna go to the folder that's called Shader Filter. Now open up a new explorer window, or file browser, whatever you want to call it, and navigate to your OBS folder, which is in your program files directory. If you don't know where it is, just watch me and I'll show you. Now that we're here, just go back to your other folder and click the OBS Studio thing. Back in your actual OBS folder, click Data and then OBS Plugins, and do the same with the other folder. Now I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, but simply drag those three files into your OBS Plugins folder. I'm pretty sure it's going to ask you if you want to replace files. Just say yes to all, because I'm pretty sure all they're doing is changing like one or two lines of code. So, there's nothing to worry about there. After that, go back to your OBS Studio folder, the root one. And do the same thing with the folder you downloaded. Now this time, click the OBS Plugins folder that's not in the Data folder, and do the same thing with your downloaded folder as well. 
Then click 64-bit in both of your folders, and then drag the files from your downloaded one into your OBS folder. Now that you're done with that, you can X out of your OBS folder and go to the root of the downloaded folder. Now just go to the little search thingy and open up OBS and we'll go from there. Now these next steps are really just up to you and your creativity, but if you want to follow me, I'm going to show you the video, and you can just follow along if you want. But there are a few basic things I am going to show you. Like here, we're just going to drag the picture in because, I mean, we want a picture in the background, don't we? That would be kind of lame, wouldn't it? You can also use a GIF if you want, it's literally the same process. I also included a cool font with the download. That's actually the font that was used in the video game called Life is Strange. I just really like it, so if you want to use it, you can. Just follow me. It's literally super simple. Just click the install button, and then restart your OBS, and it, it should show up. Now, there's a few things that I already have, like the text box and the spectrum analyzer thing, but... Um, you can literally just create them like you would for any other OBS object that you want to put in the scene. And I'll also show you the settings that I have in the preferences of them. So if you want to copy exactly what I'm doing, you can. But yeah, so basically at this point, it's really just all, you know, your creativity and what you want to do. Um, I mean, you can follow along with what I'm doing, but keep in mind, I am, you know, pulling stuff from some of my other scenes. But just look at, like, my preferences and stuff if you really want to copy some of the stuff down. Okay, so in order to get the song title from Zero Radio, just follow along with what I'm doing. But basically, you click Read from File, and then in your Documents folder, you'll see a file called Current Song. And just click that and then add it to the Read from File thing. If that file isn't there, you might want to put a song into Zero Radio and just have it, like play for a few seconds and then it should come up. If not, it's also probably somewhere in the Zero Radio settings, but I mean the settings are very limited with that app, so it shouldn't be too hard to find it. Now I'm just going to add this copyright free song into my Zero Radio application. Um, you can use it for testing if you want, but I just threw it in there if you wanted it, um, but obviously put other music in because that's kind of the whole goal of this, you know, whole thing. Now here you are going to want to make sure that you have a audio capture set up. So like either set this to the virtual audio cable thing you installed earlier or set it as an output device and then set it as your headphones. And with this spectralizer thing, it's actually pretty straightforward. It's pretty much the same thing as doing the text. Just sort of copy my settings down, um, and then you can mess with it from there. It's actually, it's really simple. Just make sure you have the input device set to the device we set earlier.
And with that, everyone, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And if this tutorial did help you, please consider subscribing. Like I said in the beginning, it helps so much you would never understand. And on that note, thank you for watching. I'm Lion Wolf Butterfly, and I'll see you next time. Bye.